In this video, I'll be showing you how to do multiple kinds of tombstone glitches that are not yet patched and they work on console and PC. And I've also got unlimited points glitches to show you. And there's even a method in here to upgrade weapons beyond the point that's normally like the max for how much you can upgrade it, which is essentially like giving it a pack-a-punch tier four, basically. So let's get started. And I have one favor to ask of you, and that's simply for you to pack-a-punch this video to tier four by hitting the like button. It's really that easy. So we're gonna start off with this really cool little exploit we can use with the Scorcher now that it's been changed in a recent season two plus patch. So step one, grab yourself a Scorcher, pack a punch it just to tier one. It doesn't need to be any further. And then you're going to start charging your Scorcher to fly into the air and just copy what I'm doing in the gameplay here. Okay. The key is that you need to not let go of the trigger. And so long as you keep that trigger held down, it's going to eventually launch you into the air. And then if you keep holding the trigger, it's going to launch you into the air again and again. Now, once it launches you three times, it's going to get you high enough to where the game is going to make you free fall. And so like you can see, I'm doing in the clips here, make sure you're holding forwards the entire time, right? So that's W on your keyboard or just like forwards on the stick. And you need to pull your parachute once you hit the very top of your flight path. So that's before you start descending. That's when you want to pull it. Then instantly cut the parachute and hold the trigger again and copy what I'm doing in the gameplay here. You're going to shoot. You're going to free fly forwards again. You're going to then pull your parachute out. You're going to cut the shoot. You're going to hold the trigger again. You're going to shoot. You're going to fly forwards again, etc. And that's the Scorcher Superman. Next, we have unlimited ammo. And for this, we also do need a Scorcher case. So for step one, we need to just have a weapon equipped, probably something with high damage. Usually I would use the Lockwood if you've got it. And to begin with here, we're going to shoot most of the primary guns ammo out, right? We're just going to get rid of that ammo and we're not going to reload. Once that's done, go to your inventory and look at which slot the Scorcher case is in. Okay. So like, remember that slot in your mind. We're then going to equip the Scorcher, turning it from a case into a weapon. We're going to drop our primary weapon, pick the weapon back up. And once that primary weapon is back in our hands, we're going to open our backpack again. Hover over the slot where the Scorcher case was before we used it just a second ago. And you'll notice that your primary weapons magazine is going to start auto filling just like the Scorcher. And so you can see how this would be pretty crazy powerful, right? It's just going to auto regen that ammo, but it will stop working if you manually reload. So the way to reset it is just to drop your weapon on the ground again, pick it up again, and then hover over the Scorcher slot to redo the glitch. It only works though if you never use the Scorcher. So once you fire the Scorcher, you can't activate this glitch again, just as a heads up. Next, there's a glitch to bypass the vault door. We'll be using the Scorcher for this once again. So start off by heading to Shaheen Manor. And through this whole glitch, like it can get a little wordy. So uh, just really make sure that you're copying what I'm doing in the gameplay. Uh, but go through this little opening in the water. It's going to lead you to the vault east egg itself like that vault door and normally you need to do a whole bunch of work in order to get it open but we're going to get in a different way so near the water entrance or exit i guess if you're inside now walk up next to these two blue barrels and against this light here and then face the exit like face that waterway that you came in from pull out your scorcher and charge it and while you charge it hold forwards or w and you should basically end up stuck in the ceiling here which sounds alarming but don't worry now face towards the middle of the tunnel and do the same thing again. Charge up your Scorcher, hold W, and we're essentially going to try and do this to sort of reposition. And if you're like me, you'll see that like it didn't turn left towards the middle of the tunnel when I did this. So I instead shot a second time looking straight and ended up landing inside the tunnel wall. And so to fix that, I shot towards the tunnel and I made it onto the top of the ceiling. So it might take a little bit of fiddling here to make this work, but once you're on top, walk towards the vault. And if you go prone just here, you can access a lot of the loot. Now, one of them is a mimic, as you know, but you can kill it. It doesn't matter. And then once you're all done, you're going to need to follow my path here that I'm showing you in the gameplay towards the swimming pool. Here, you're going to have to jump up into the water. And it's not super clear, but don't worry. Just keep pushing and then start swimming and stay on the path I'm showing you here. And it might pull your parachute out for a split second. Don't worry. That's normal. That's not a sign that you're going to die or something. And then just continue to this wall and mantle out of the pool. And that's glitch done. You've bypassed the vault and gotten yourself a bunch of loot. Next, we have an XP farm glitch, which they tried to patch in season one, or they, they tried to tweak in season one. And that's what actually opened this glitch up to be possible. So basically it used to be the outlast contracts were like the best thing for farming XP right? Because they just keep infinitely spawning zombies and it was great. But then they changed it so the eventually it would stop spawning zombies and you would just tick progress up to 100% completion. The glitch though is that if you wait until exactly when I'm cancelling the contract in my gameplay here, so around 
the 95% mark, zombies aren't going to stop spawning so long as you stay near the area, meaning you can shoot from outside the building so long as you don't roam too far away from the outlast location. And so you are going to be able to just continuously XP farm even though the contract is gone and you'll be able to level weapons like crazy fast. This is insane for weapon leveling and camos and stuff like that. Next up, it's tombstone time. So we're going to start off with an unlimited points glitch. Uh, you're going to need tombstone for this. That's probably obvious. Also, you need to play co-op for this one in particular to work and playing with a full squad will give you a whole lot more money. So step one is just to get some money in my game here. I got 30k just as a starter and my teammate Joey Conway also got 30k and we also each got tombstone. Next, one of us is going to give all of our money to the other player. We're just going to drop it all and that other player is going to pick it all up. Then that other player needs to down themselves. They need to like hold B or hold circle or whatever to just bleed out and then they need to complete the plea for help animation. So you can do this on your controller on the D-pad. It will basically give you the option on your screen to like plea for help from nearby squads, right? You need to do that and then only after you've done that plea for help, you're going to revive the person that is downed. Then you're going to swap positions. So previously your teammate dropped all their points and then died, right? Now you are going to drop all your points and then you're going to give them to your teammate and then they're going to die. They're going to bleed out, plea for help, and then you'll revive your teammate. Once this is done, both of you need to die and then give up. So your game is going to end. It's going to say squad eliminated, but you're going to leave the match at the XP screen. So time it the way that I am timing it here. And then once that's done, you can start up another game and your tombstone will be on the ground where you died. And when you grab the tombstone, your points are going to double. So you can do this in as many games as you want. When you're going to be finishing up your match, you might as well just do this and you'll double your points and you can end up getting unlimited points, infinite points just from this alone. Now, one thing that you might worry about about is the fact that the tombstone icon is going to disappear from your screen when you do the plea for help thing. But don't worry about it. The glitch is still going to work, okay? Next up, we have more tombstone. We are doing the tombstone duplication glitch now. So we're going to need tombstone once again. And I think you can't use PhD for this, but I'm actually not 100% sure. So in the menu, before you start your match, you're going to need to assign your mission to act for bad signal. Now, there is a chance that it doesn't let you change mission just because of the way the mission structure works, but that's okay because I've got a little workaround, okay? So bring stuff into the game that you want to duplicate, obviously. Maybe you want to clone yourself some tier three pap crystals or something like that. And like I said, bring tombstone along into the game, or you can just buy it in the match itself. That's fine too. Now, if you already have a grave in the game, you're going to need to grab everything from that first so that the grave disappears and like gets broken and, and, and leaves because otherwise this isn't going to work. So if you've got a grave, empty it, get rid of it, and then we can start the process. Go to the bad signal small portal, not the massive triangular portal that you used to go into the dark ether just the small one that you use for the mission and activate it. And this is going to start a 30 second timer. Then run right over to the water here and jump in. You need to make sure that you don't float on top of the water. So swim down to the bottom and let yourself start running out of oxygen. Okay. It might sound counterintuitive, but you're going to wait until your oxygen bar is going to go red. And only then once your oxygen bar is red, do you very quickly open the map and vote yes on the vote to start the mission thing. Now you might have a little trouble with this because the indicator on that doesn't necessarily show that you're holding the button down. And so it can be a little sketchy, but if it doesn't work for you for some reason, or the timer runs out on the mission activation, that's okay. You can just run over to the portal again and reactivate it and try again. But once you've successfully activated it while you're on red oxygen, you should find that you basically die in the water a few seconds later, but the mission is now already beginning. So by the time you're dead, the timer on the mission will be like two or one seconds before it teleports you. And this is perfect. Like that's great if you're in that kind of window. The next step, is platform specific. So on console, you're going to need to force quit your game during the teleport animation by going to the like app select and hitting quit. So that's different to just saying leave match, right? And on PC, you can just spam alt F4 when the screen goes black after the animation. Now you'll notice in my game, I did this in co-op, right? And so in co-op, I would recommend that the way you do it is you find a spot in the water, which you can use to synchronize your jump, right? You don't want to run into it. You don't want to sprint into into it either because sprinting in the water with one of you and not the other is going to mean that your oxygen runs out at different times. So just make sure that everyone is on the same page with voting yes at the same time when your oxygen goes red and all of you are dying with that one to two seconds left on the teleport timer. With all that said, your stuff will be back in your inventory when you boot the game back up afterwards. And you'll also have a tombstone stash with everything inside it still on the east side of the map when you next load into a 
game itself. Now I mentioned uh, there's a workaround, right? For if your mission doesn't change and it's just being awkward. Basically, you can use normal dark ether sigils. It's just more convenient to not need another inventory item because you want that inventory space to be spent on duping. So you'll activate the portal with the sigil and then you can start drowning and then accept when your oxygen goes red like we did before, force quit the game. And for me to do this, I looted two sigils from tier three so that I'd basically never run out. I would use one to open the portal and then the second would be duped via the tombstone and then I can just do this indefinitely, which is pretty efficient if you ask me. Maybe hit subscribe for more pro tips like that one. <laughs> Next, I have a tombstone duplication dark ether glitch for you, which is also linked to tier four pack a punch. So this is going to be the same process as the glitch that I just showed you, right? Except this time, we're not going to force close the game when we're on the teleport screen or just after it if we're on PC. Instead, we're going to just let it load us into the dark ether and we're going to load in without any weapons or grenade equipment or anything like that here. However, if you have wonder weapon cases in your inventory still, you will have those when you get into the dark ether and when you use them, they'll be gray rarity. Now, this is where we can start upgrading beyond the point that is normally possible because usually wonder weapons have yellow rarity and that gives them a certain amount of damage, but that yellow rarity is different to being gold rarity. Gold rarity is what you'd get if you use the legendary tool on something. And so usually a wonder weapon like a ray gun will cap out at yellow rarity and you'll be able to get up to pap tier three. Whereas now we've got a gray rarity wonder weapon. And so we can get that up to pap three like before, but we can also upgrade its rarity and get it up to gold rarity too. So that's a whole set of weapon rarities that are not normally possible to apply to the weapon, making it even more powerful. And that's why I said at the beginning, it's like an effective tier four upgrade because you've got the combination of tier three pap with max gold rarity and with legendary status all coming together to give the weapon a massive damage boost. So that's how that works in the dark ether. Let's talk about how to do this not in the dark ether as well, because you can do it out there too. So in order to do this, you're going to need a wonder weapon case, obviously, an ether tool, a molotov, and a self res or a dog to revive you. And basically you need to grab a weapon stash contract, then have two weapons equipped and they can just be any weapons. It's fine. Walk up next to the safe in the weapon stash contract and then throw your molotov at the floor. And right as you're about to go down, like right before your last tick gets ticked, start drilling the safe exactly like I'm showing you in the gameplay here. Now, if the animation starts putting the weapon that you're holding away and pulling the drill out when this happens, then you did it. You were successful. Assuming you did it successfully, you can now swap to that third weapon slot and you'll have your fists out. And then it's really simple. You just need to use your wonder weapon case drop your primary weapon and you'll see the wonder weapon is going to be gray rarity. So you can use your pap crystal on it and you can use your ether tool on it and your weapon will now be super pack a punched or pap tier four or whatever you want to call it. So if you've enjoyed the video, maybe consider subscribing for more zombies videos in the future. And I've got other zombies videos linked on screen for you to click through to. Enjoy!